Hey! There's something I've been meaning to say to you for years. I love you. <laughs> so whether you agree with it or not, alcohol is a big part of our society. Many of us enjoy it responsibly and others, uh, not so much. Woo! Cake stand! Weekend warriors, I'm looking at you. But with its popularity comes a lot of misunderstandings and falsehoods that get spread around. Well, in this video, I'm going to take the seven most commonly believed myths that you likely still believe about alcohol and explain the truth behind them. And a lot of these are gonna be useful for you guys. From hangover cures to what alcohol gets you drunk the fastest, we're covering it all. Let's drown some booze-fueled falsehoods and see what we remember in the morning. This is seven myths you still believe about alcohol. Aspirin before drinking prevents hangovers. For as long as there have been hangovers, there have been false hangover cures. This first one claims that by taking a painkiller like ibuprofen or aspirin before a heavy night of drinking, it will reduce or prevent that awful feeling you get the next morning. <laughs> no! No. First of all, no matter how weak they seem, no painkillers should ever be taken when they're not needed. Drugs are bad, okay? Secondly, ibuprofen relieves pain for three to four hours, aspirin closer to four hours. So if you take it the night before, how could it help the next morning? In addition, these pills can actually cause liver inflammation and erode stomach lining when combined with alcohol. So avoiding it when you're drinking is definitely best. In the end, taking painkillers before drinking Drinking does nothing for a hangover. Eating before bed will prevent hangovers. Speaking of preventing a hangover, after a night of drinking, many people turn to a late night snack. You know, often the greasy burger or pizza, under the belief that eating it will go a long way to stop a hangover the next morning. Hey, who's throwing down for Domino's? <laughs> Yum! Sadly, this is yet again a myth. A delicious myth, but nonetheless a myth. Regardless of how greasy or absorbent the food consumed is, it's simply taken in too late. The alcohol is already absorbed into your system long before that late night snack. So next time, be smart and eat before you drink. I mean, you'll still get drunk as normal, but it will help slow down the alcohol absorption. High tolerance means it takes more to get drunk. We all have that friend or family member. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Bro, I can drink like a whole 24 pack in a night, bro. Bro. Yes, that friend or family member who says that they have a high tolerance and can outdrink others or claims that it takes more alcohol to get them drunk. But is there any truth to it? Well, no. Tolerance towards alcohol does exist, but it doesn't change the amount that it takes to get you legally drunk. All that it means is that it takes more alcohol than normal to make you feel drunk. So it's best that if you're one of those high tolerance individuals that you remember this before operating a vehicle or any type of other machinery. Mixing energy drinks with alcohol makes Makes you drunk faster. It's becoming more and more popular for people to order an energy drink with their alcohol. In fact, there are some energy drinks that you can buy right now in the liquor store with alcohol mixed in them. Well, when you think about how you get a buzz off of drinking alcohol and get a rush from energy drinks, it's easy to assume combining the two will create an upcharged beverage, and this is actually widely believed. However, all the energy drink does is hide the effects of alcohol that make you sluggish. It does not change the amount that you need to get drunk drunk or how drunk you truly are, though it has been known to lead to people not realizing how much they can handle and over drinking. Dude, you drank like an entire bottle of tequila. No, it's cool, bro. I had a Red Bull. I'm fine. Dark beer is stronger than light beer. Since darker beers look thicker and obviously, well, darker, it's commonly believed that they also come with a larger amount of calories, more carbs, and a higher alcohol content. However, unless it's been specifically added and thus posted on the bottle's label, a darker beer does not mean a stronger drink. Beer's color is used on the type of grain used to make it, and thus is not a good indicator of how much alcohol is in it. In fact, certain dark beers actually have less alcohol in them and contain fewer calories than light beers. One drink an hour will not get you drunk. It's a very common belief that limiting yourself to a single drink every 60 minutes will translate into your ability to legally drive and thus not be drunk one hour after your last drink. But this is a very, very dangerous myth. For one thing, men and women are built differently. While it may take one length of time for a man to metabolize alcohol, it often takes significantly longer for the average woman to do the same, based on different physiologies. 
calories. And according to doctors, the average rate of alcohol metabolism is 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per hour. This means that a 320 pound man could consume 14 grams of alcohol, which is the standard amount in a 12 ounce can of beer, and metabolize it in a 60 minute period. But this also means that anyone who weighs less needs more time. So if you're not 320 pounds, you might want to rethink this myth. Beer before liquor, never sicker. Let's close this video out with one of the most common poems to ever be recited. Beer before liquor, never been sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. The idea is if you have a few shots of hard liquor and then switch to beer, your body will handle it a lot better than if you drank them the other way around. But is there any truth to that? Well, if you believe that, you're like a lot of other people. But the truth is everything comes down to how much alcohol that you consume. No matter no matter what alcoholic beverage you're drinking, if you drink too many too fast, you're gonna get sick. The only difference is how much alcohol each type of drink contains. So pace yourselves, people! And that's all for this video, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can catch my next video. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves and be safe. Peace.